Hello friends, I'm Abby from Abby's Bookish Life and today I'm doing the musical theater book tag. In honor of getting to do some live theater again, I decided to pull this book tag back from the dead. It was created in 2015 by a booktuber named Something Like Lydia and I'm very excited to share it with you because it combines two of my most favorite things in life, musical theater and books. The first prompt is Wicked, favorite fictional friendship. My choice for this is going to be Aristotle and Dante from Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Their friendship is just so pure and sweet and beautiful and they find things that they love about each other and they support those things. They are just there and they are just the truest friends that exist. It was just a really sweet and lovely relationship to read about and to experience in a book. So I am 100% committed to Aristotle and Dante being my favorite fictional friendship. Prompt two, Sweeney Todd, favorite villain. Now for this, I have two choices. The first one is going to be a spoiler alert because it's a plot twist. So if you don't want to be spoiled, skip like the next 20 seconds. But one of my favorite villains is Amy from Gone Girl because that twist was insane. It fully got me and I was not expecting it. So villains who I don't know are going to be villains. That just really does it for me. I do have a second choice for my favorite villain and that is Cersei Lannister from Game of Thrones. I love her as a villain. Um, I love that it's kind of ambiguous throughout the books whether she is a villain or whether she's doing things for the good of her people. But I truly believe that she is just an intense powerful woman who is portrayed as a villain and honestly I stand for it. I love it. Prompt three is Phantom of the Opera favorite love triangle. I don't love love triangles in books mostly because my peacekeeping heart can't stand the conflict of knowing that somebody is going to have to be pushed aside in a love triangle. So I have two choices for this as well because there are two books that I think did this trope really well and the first one is going to be from Anna and the French Kiss and it's the love triangle between Anna, Etienne, and Ellie and it focuses on a young adult perspective of a love triangle which I really like because it helped explore the ideas of intense passionate young adult romances like insta love basically and what happens when you fall head over heels in love with somebody who is your close friend and is dating somebody else. So I liked that trope in Anna and the French Kiss. Now my second choice for favorite love triangle is from the book Outlander by Diana Gabaldon and it is the love triangle between Claire, Jamie, and Frank. So basically the whole premise of the first book. If you're unfamiliar with what Outlander is about, it is kind of a historical romance time travel fantasy world. There's a little bit of magic. There's a little bit of time travel. It's one of my favorite books of all time. So what happens is Claire is a woman in the 1940s who is living her life with her husband Frank and she stumbles upon these stones in the forest and is able to time travel through them. She doesn't understand how, but she walks through the stones and all of a sudden she's in the 1740s. In the 1740s, she stumbles upon Jamie Fraser and for some unforeseen circumstances, have to get married. And so she's kind of battling with knowing that her husband is out there in 1943, living his life and she doesn't know how to get back to him. And in order to save her life, she has to marry Jamie in 1743. So really it adds a whole new element to a love triangle. And I love the fact that it's not just choosing between two men who are in front of you. She is having to choose between two men who are literally hundreds of years apart and make that intense choice. So I love this book and I love the love triangle in it. Next is The Lion King, favorite sidekick. So I decided to go with Nyamathon from the Priory of the Orange Tree. Nyamathon is a dragon and she is just so knowledgeable and wise and in this book the dragons are able to speak to humans and so she provides guidance to the character Tane and it just is really beautiful to see their relationship and to see how this dragon is kind of the sidekick character but is really bringing a lot of peace and wisdom to those around her 
and I think it was really well done. So she is my favorite sidekick character. The next prompt is Grease least favorite ending, which I think is hilarious because I personally don't like Grease. Don't come for me musical theater fans, specifically because of the ending. So I'm so happy that somebody out there has the same feelings about Grease that I do. So my choice for least favorite ending is from the book All We Ever Wanted by Emily Giffen. This book is a book that's pretty much entirely about privilege and white privilege especially, and it focuses on a character who makes a choice to hurt another person and basically, spoiler alert, I'm gonna give you a second to click away if you don't wanna know, gets away with doing horrible things to people because they have money and have power and have privilege. And then the author tries to make it seem like the character learned a lesson at the end and grew, but we don't get to see that. We just see it ending and then it skips forward to the future where they're still kind of a jerk. And like, ugh, I don't know, that the ending of that book really bothered me and still bothers me to this day. It's very highly rated and people love it, so maybe I'm missing something, but I personally did not like it. Next is Matilda the Musical, favorite adaptation of a book. I have two choices for this. The first is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, and the movie version of this in 2019 was fantastic and beautiful, and I loved it. So if you haven't seen it yet, please check it out because it is a great adaptation of this book. My other favorite adaptation is It by Stephen King, and the movies that came out recently are some of my favorite adaptations of a book that I've read. I loved It Part 1. Part It Part 2 was great as well, but It Part 1 was a masterpiece in my opinion, so I think that it did a great job of adapting this book that is absolutely massive into two really great movies, so I would highly recommend those. The last prompt is Les Miserables, favorite death in a book. I picked two, and these are both spoilers, so that you can decide to skip forward if you don't want to know my favorite deaths, because they are spoilers. But the first one is Christopher's death in The One by John Mars. Now, in this book, Christopher is a serial killer and is killing women, and his death just brings the absolute perfect poetic justice to what he is doing and I absolutely loved the way it was done. That book is one of my all-time favorites now. I will be talking about my thoughts on it in my July wrap-up, but overall it was a fantastic book and his death was so satisfying. My other favorite death in a book is the one that young adult me cried hysterically over, sobbed like a little baby in my room, and my parents were probably like, are you okay? What's happening? Because I had such a visceral reaction to this character dying. So the death I'm talking about is Dumbledore's death in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This death took me by surprise. And you have to remember, this was before the movies came out. This was when the book first came out that I was reading it. So I did not expect it. I was not prepared and it wrecked me. I was fully destroyed and I <laughs> didn't know what to do with myself. So because I had such a visceral reaction to his death, I had to include it in here because young adult me was distraught. I was distraught. That is gonna be all for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my book choices for the different musical theater prompts and comment down below what your choices are for the seven different musicals that I listed. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye friends.